Ryan Zinke is Montana Congressman joining us live here in the studio. Congressman, always good to see you. Great to be here. here in the city. Uh, we appreciate your time. I want a couple of topics I wanted to get to. A lot going on right now, but but that one in particular here. It's it. These are rare actions uh, skirting Congress, but it's not unprecedented. Uh, do you have a thought on that administration's going around Congress in terms of uh, of, of of sales? Um, to four nations. Well, you, you, look, you look at the case of, of this, right? Congress has passed the appropriations bill, defense appropriations bill. We passed a single bill supporting Israel, about $14 billion worth. So if they were really serious about supporting Israel, they would actually go down out of the drawer and pick up one of the bills the House has already passed, particularly $14.3 I think $3 billion to support Israel, which includes those rounds. Am I surprised that this administration violates and goes around the law? No. This is not the first time. You know, we talked about student loans. It's not authorized. It's not appropriated. But yet they're spending the money as if they have an open checkbook. Uh, right now, Democrats are asking for even more funding for um, Israel-Hamas war, more funding for Ukraine. It's all something that Republicans are behind. They're saying, sure, yeah, we'll give you the funding. Um, but we also want more funding for our southern border. The Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, was asked about the possibility that they might loop in some more money to protect um, the U.S.-Mexico border. He was on CNN's State of the Union yesterday. I want to play that for you. The border piece, as you know, is out of my, uh, is out of my purview. But I can say this. I, there are $6 billion uh, to enhance border security, inclu including having more people, more agents uh, on the border. So I know that's very much part of the, uh, the discussion and something the president's fully prepared to, to engage on. But in terms of what it would mean for Ukraine, what it would mean for Israel, uh, what it would mean for our, our efforts uh, to be competitive in the Indo-Pacific, uh, I think the only people who'd be happy if uh, the supplemental budget request is not voted on and approved by Congress are sitting in Moscow. Able to come to some sort of a sufficient agreement about that money for the U.S.-Mexico border, do you think that you and your fellow Republicans uh, could then get behind the bill? Yeah, I believe so. But it is about the border. All right? Ukraine is a war that most Americans see on, on a TV, and it's atrocious. But the border, we see it every day. We see it in New York. We see it in Billings, Montana. We see it in Missoula. We see it everywhere. It, we, in this, this the United States, we see drug trafficking, sex trafficking, you know, uh, fentanyl. And it is because of the lack of this administration taking any seriousness on the border. We may have 50 million illegal immigrants. You saw the numbers today. They're, they're coming over. There's no border. So our job in Congress is to say enough's enough. We're going to use the power of the purse to bend policy so we can protect this country and the border. In terrorism, we have at least you know several hundred people in the terrorist watch list coming across in unknown numbers that yeah. we haven't apprehended. Yeah.